Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So yes, we're back out fly fishing on the river. Loads of people were requesting to bring back the fly fishing videos here on the river for the wild brown trout. So that's what we're doing. We're going to mix up the content as much as possible. So I actually started off my fishing career years and years ago fly fishing on these small little rivers. And um, this is where I first learned to fly fish. Um, I haven't done it in a few months now. Since last season, I haven't took out the fly rod in the river. Um, it's really good crack. I absolutely love it. One of my favorite ways to fly fish is fishing upstream with the nymphs. Um, so I have two little flies tied on here now. These are tied up by a friend of mine, Lewis Porter. You'll find them on Facebook. They're small little beaded nymphs. Um, I'm fishing this on a nine foot, five weight fly rod with floating line and a four pound uh, Maxima Ultra Green is the leader that I'm using. It's a really, really simple setup, lads. There's no complication to this sort of fishing. We're here flicking the flies upstream as we're going along. It's just a little roll cast as you're going along and keeping the flies out ahead of you, keeping an eye on the fly line, and when it tightens up, you just lift into the fish. It's really, really fun, really, really simple way of fishing. Um, that's the river I'm on there now. We're fishing here in the evening. It's a Friday evening session. I um, just finished work, so I said we'd go out and try to catch a few trout on the fly rod. And yeah, have a bit of crack. These little fly fishing videos are a bit of fun. Um, I absolutely love fly fishing as well as lure fishing and I think it's very important to show a bit of boat on the channel. The more strings you have to your boat, the better, isn't that right? So, let's get fly fishing. There's a fish. Been a great fight in the current. Have to bring him into the net here. Hopefully, it's barbarous. So, let's see if he shakes off. He's building a great fight. Hey, that's a lovely trout, guys. It's my biggest one on the fly on the river so far in the last two sessions. Look at that beauty. Put up a great fight. I didn't realize the size of it. Lovely fish. So guys, this is a lovely little fish for this river. Um, like I said, I grew up fly fishing on these rivers. Um, before I had that addiction to lure fishing, um, fly fishing is all I knew. So it's nice to get back fly fishing every now and again. Um, I'll give you a quick look at this fish. You know, I always wet the hands before you have a look at the fish. Beautiful trout for the river. That's him here now. I'll give you a better look here in this one. So that's a good sized trout for this little river. Beautiful fish. It's gonna drop him back here into the river. There he goes. Really good crack, fly fishing. That one took a small beaded nymph. It's one of Lewis Porter's flies, if you can see it there. Tiny little fly. Um, just fishing it upstream. I'm walking upstream with the waders. Just small little flicks. Um, it's just a flick cast as I'm walking. And as soon as you see the line tighten up, you just lift into the fish. It's really good crack. Um, wild fishing, really good crack. So if you're enjoying these sort of videos, lads, make sure you hit the like button. We'll go up a little bit further, maybe we'll catch one or two more. There's a trout. Put into the net here. Wait the hands. Right at my feet. Yes. Another beauty. What we'll do here is we'll wet the hand. There's the little nymph in his mouth. It should pop straight out. Oh, it's right in the bottom of his lip. 
Come on, buddy. He's rather wrapped up in the lane. So there he is. Beautiful little trout on a nymph. Good stuff. Two beady nymphs. This guy took it straight away. They're barbarous hooks up. Keep a bit of tension on the hook. We're not going to net him, we'll just wet the hands. Beautiful wild brown trout. And a little single barbarous beaded nymph from Lewis Porter. That's a beautiful little trout. Off he goes. Lewis does some really nice little flies. That was do the trick. I just switched to two beaded nymphs to get the flies a little bit further down in the water because it's gone quite sunny. And yeah, it's doing the trick, so let's keep going. Got one. Oh, he came off. That was the weirdest hook set ever. He flashed at the dropper twice. So I put it back over his head and he came back up and took it again, but it was only like a small trout. So it's stay fishing away. There's a few fish rising here in front of me. There's a trout. It's only a little baby. Took it in beside the... Oh, he's gone. Took it in beside the bush. And a little nymph again, left me in a bit of a tangle. He's only a small one, so let's keep going. There's a trout. Fish on! Oh, what a jump! Haha! <laughs> he jumped miles into the air and shook the hook. Good job. Makes them hooking them a bit easier when they do it for you. So that guy took at the back of the tree just ahead of me. I was just about to cast again and realized there was a fish on. It's exciting when it's like that. There's a fish. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Maybe a small one anyway. Well, guys, we're gonna wrap it up there. Um, I didn't do too much speaking to the camera in this video It was just raw footage of fly fishing here in the river. I was really enjoying it So I didn't even bother to turn the camera around I'm um, just up upstream fishing with the nymphs. I um, and I used a few spiders as well throughout the video But yeah, really good crack. Um, I'm absolutely wrecked after walking really far in the way there's and everything So you'd be fairly tired after a session on the fly fishing And um, if you enjoyed the video lads, make sure you leave a like Drop a comment, um, do you prefer fly fishing or do you prefer lure fishing? Um, I know a lot of people are 50-50 like it's either one or the other but I like both so I'll show you both in this channel. Um, hope you enjoy it. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching lads. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you out here next time.